Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. UMG Dallas continues day number two. We're at the winner's bracket stages, and this man has made his return to Call of Duty casting. It's been fun. It uh, has. Real quick, I do want to give a shout-out to two of my bros right out there in the, 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 in the like, stage. The like right there. Optic Gaming fans, see you. Matt and Parker. Smite. Play some Smite. Smite. Too. They play some Smite on the Xbox. Right, how, good with me. how good were they? Uh, the one kid. Okay, so Ma Matt okay. is this little kid who you thinks out. like, Matt thinks he's like really good because he went like 29 and 8. And I'm like, listen, okay, dude, you're free. Impressive. You're so free. But he, he, you know, he's a pub stopper. That's it. But anywho, back on the story Cold here. Cold out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's probably better than me at this point. But, uh, <laughs> is this the game? Are we already in it? Oh, yeah. We're, we went straight in the oh, game. Oh, well, we're that's a uh, weird you layout. There it is. Okay, cool. What is this? Tell me. All right, so. This is Detroit. I, you're right. This, this is Michigan. Mich yeah, Michigan, Detroit. Yeah, yeah that, that's where we are. Uh, this game is basically basketball. There is a, in fact, I, no. No, I know this game. I know this. I know this. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah. There's, there's you get armor with Detroit. the ball and then, or yeah. the bomb. You, or you lose your gun. What, what it's satellite? Sa it's technically the satellite drone. But the drone. People, people have got very tired of saying that now, so we just hold it. Oh, dope. Because, cool. you know, it's spherical and it bounces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, J-Cap with a big kill there. He's got a guy over to his left, and he will get cleaned up as they have lost control of the middle of the map. And where where are we looking to control here on this map? So the big place to really control is going to be school side, especially when you're on uh, MV side. When you're attacking into school, it's so, so crucial. In actual fact, I'm going to show you exactly. Uh, I'll wait to see this drone resets, and then I'll, I'll kind of fly over and free camera and show you the, the key how the position site could be good at sinking that one. Picked out the air. Interception from Octane right at the very end. And this, you'll actually see Octane go straight over to this pit wall and into school. Now, this is going to be so, so important because there's several places you can throw for one, and it's basically free covers. The teammates should push through, pick up a couple of kills, as you see Looney doing now. And then, hopefully, hopefully, Octane will show you how easy it is to go for one. In fact, his teammates die. He should be good to die as well. But no, actually, escapes from street and nearly able to get the one point throw out. But really, school is going to be key in this match. Well, J-Cap gets cleaned up as well. Looney now pushing by the ambulance. He runs right past the guy and he catches a knife right into the face. Wow. Oh, they go with the fist in the in the kill feed? That's oh. a knife. Oh, no, no, it's a full on power punch. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's the it's, Falcon punch? Oh, yeah. It's like a oh, pow. Oh, he missed the one point throw. Wow. Absolute disaster. Mm -hmm. J Cap Whoops. should be able to pick that one up and throw it out of bounds. So what? Uh, so you throw it out of bounds and then it resets back in the middle of the so map. So this is what makes it interesting, though. There's different places on the map where if you throw the drone out, it will reset for a different period of time. Oh, that's so awesome. So what you saw right there with J-Cap, he just kind of threw it straight out and it instantly reset. However, if you throw it up towards kind of top garage area, it'll be a 15-second reset. Garage, but yeah. yeah. Well, so whatever. J-Cap picks up one. He's escorting his teammate. That's going to be a dunk. Two points there, and Noah almost gets the kill as well. But three members down here for Envy. Elevate does have a chance to attack. So what you'll see here is Aqua just pick up the drone and do exactly what we just talked about. So that's going to reset the drone for 15 seconds. Now, why that's important, obviously, buys your teammates time. Yeah. They can then pick up a couple of kills, get some map control, voila. Well, well, the biggest thing about it is it really just buys your teammates time to respawn, right? Yeah. I mean, if you have three down and Aqua being able to grab that drone and throw it out of play is humongous. Yep. It really, really helps. And now you see it'll reset once again. If Looney can somehow pick up a couple kills here, they could be in a good position. But in fact, Classic pieces of the drone, he pieces out. But again, he's probably going to have to reset that. Same thing. Doesn't want to allow Envy any more control of the school. You know, currently down 2-0. Trying to do some damage limitation. Oh, he has one. Oh, Ooh. big two-piece there from Saints. As he will now push forward, he has another guy pushing into the same building as him. He smells him out, and he will wow. be cleaned up there by Classic, switching over to J-Cap. Has a flying squirrel in front of him, and he makes him pay. And if J-Cap can push through school here very quickly, Looney could be on to get some points. J-Cap is so important. Doesn't have any stun grenades, though. Dash straight out. out. He's picking up the kill. Can't, but Looney's just going to jump straight through. Two-point play. 4-0 lead now for Envy. Four players down, though. We could see Elevate try and reply very quickly here. Yeah, well, Slack just really needs to pick it up here. I mean, he's 3-8. and eight. That's not going to get the job done. In a 4-0 game, especially with 65 seconds left, you got to pick up the big slays, man. Classic still with the throw. Going to get the beat down on Looney. Could be good. Trying to go for one, but can't even get out the door. Unfortunately, the rain of bullets drop down upon him. Octane's going to reset that drone. Again, by his teammates a little bit of time to come up against the map control and also reset. Yeah, you, you know, Elevate just seems to be right off the mark, right? Like, they're pushing into the right spots, uh -huh. but they aren't getting the big kills on the base. Yep. So all Envy really has to do is sit in their base and wait because they don't have to worry about Elevate pushing from one other direction. It's all telegraphed to them. Yep. Very true. 30 seconds left in the round. Drone's going to be reset. Should be back in bounds in six seconds time. So, and then we can try and get a couple Oof. kills back into what's cool. It would be good. 
Uh, in fact, three players go down. Octane, last man alive. He may actually just have to try and make a play with that drone and go for the reset. Doesn't want to give up any points. Still 17 seconds left, but Octane trying to slay his way out. That should be Saints picking up the drone. It is. He may go for an ambitious one just to try and beat the buzzer. Throws it. That looks as if it's going to be good. It bounces, but oh. just goes shy. And Aqua knows no one's going to be in a position to pick that one up. Has Shake Captain support. And we're going to go in the half. MB up. Oro. Yeah, man, did great trade from NBA, especially on the side one. But mm -hmm. now, so which side has the advantage? Was it NBA side or was it the oh, side that we just saw NBA? Because you're okay. pushing in a school, it's so easy to get those ones. It, it's just so simple to run that drone. So and is 4-0 a good enough lead going into the second half? Honestly, no. I don't think so. I think you need kind of six. I think a six, five, six. five, six point lead is pretty good. At that point, you can feel comfortable. This, I mean, if Elevate get control of the map for you know, two minutes. 4-0 is completely obliterated. Yeah. They'll be down in that case. So really you need to see push up. But what was important was Elvate got no points yep. on the unpreferred side. So if Envy can start off well, maybe steal a couple of one point throws, they should be good. Well, Octane really slowing this one down here. Just playing the corners to his advantage. Has another guy gets cleaned up from behind. Jcap spots one, makes him pay for even looking at him. And now he's almost able to get the two piece, but will get cleaned up as now Looney will sit and wait. As people are now pushing into Skull, down he goes. And it looks like Elevate is going for a full on assault here. And Slack waiting for Athlete to try and pick up a couple of kills. Thinking about potentially going mid street. Instead just throws a stun to see if he can connect with the spawn. He's gonna drop that drone. Ballsy. Uh, well, oh, that's <laughs> embarrassing. Able to pick up the kill, but oh, there's actually going to be a play in mid-street. That's going to cost him. Nice play from Jacob, who was covering the drone. Octane now, last man up. Trying to put up a defensive stance against Saints. Saints still with the teammate in support. Maybe forced to go for one instead. Double dashes out. Gets the two-point play and somehow stays alive. But finally does fall. So within a minute, you've already seen that four-point lead reduced down to just two. Yep. And now Apathy just really trying to play it slow. I mean, longer respawn here, obviously, an uplink. So you, you always got to be careful. As soon as you see the players just start pushing out mid-street, that's when you can tell they're flustered. And that's what it's really good to see out of Elevate right now. They're not worried about a two-point deficit because it's going to be easy for them to break through. Wow. back in Classic's hands. He's going to throw that for the odds. Mid Atlas, he's going to fold out. Uh, three and a half minutes to go. Still, Envy with the lead by two. Octane has the drone. And he's just trying to peek there, see if he can go for a one point throw. But from here, you can actually connect with a one. If you knee slide off top Atlas. So it's a tough shot, very inconsistent. You don't see pros hit it that often. It's prone to interceptions as well. But instead, he just wraps it all the way around the outside. And this is oh, a this much is easier play. They got the great slays there. Wow. Aqua and Jcap together, combining for three different kills. We're able to allow him to just sneak into the base. And now, the biggest thing right there is Aqua was actually in the base. So now this forces Elevate to get crazy spawns and they don't have control over their base at all. In fact, he's still there. Oh, Octane's so close to being able to pick that up as a pass and just junk it in for another two points. But now with two minutes, 47 seconds left, deficit back to full. MV with the lead. Well, series all tied up, one map apiece. Classic has that drone though for Elevate, making his way over to World School. Has teammates in support, but they're all gonna die. Throws out the first on Staints in support. He's gonna drop. Classic now gonna try and slay his way through. Picks up the first, looks over to Wolf's window. That's, That's the second. Can he get the third? This would be unbelievable individual effort from him, but not gonna happen. Jcap shuts him down. You know, I'll, I'll actually take the flip side of that coin. I'll say that he was trying to do a little bit too much there. You can just tell, I mean, he had a teammate already coming in right behind him two seconds after he was dead. Mm -hmm. That's a small communication. Hey, man, I'm two seconds behind. I'm coming through the window. You wait for that. Right. Now you're in a 2v2 instead of a 1v2. They may pay for that, but no. Looney with the grenade. Drone is down after he picks it up, dunks it in. Just a two-point game with two minutes left. It's like last one alive now. The pro here is he is still in school. He may be able to pick up a couple of kills, but the kills he's going to have to get are important. There's one. Can he find the second? Pulls out the ASM one, throws the stun out, and gets just melted around the corner. Octane now trying to slay out mid Atlas Classic. Has the drone, though, and he's going to be making his way back towards school. He's in school. He has no teammate in front of him there, so he does have to wait for Saints to come through the window. And now Saints, he will get cleaned up, and he takes it mid street. Oh Jumps back through into Jukes. school. Oh my god. Slight is going to be able to slay out for him as well. Throws out the stun, looking oh. for the one point gun to get shut down. 90 seconds left to play, but they're able to get the dunk. We're all tied at six. One minute 25. Slight looking to throw out a couple of stuns, control that mid Atlas side. Envy trying to reply as well. Stuns galore. Right now, Slack just oh, he, waiting. He, he spotted that guy. He, he was able to call that out. Looney now, that's such a good play. He just throws a, he throws the drone away. He's just like, oh yeah, go Jacob, for it go if you for want. Jacob, we can maybe get a one-point play. Oh, maybe the dream! Two. 
but no, shut down. Apathy on the defensive side has the drone. He's gonna reset it back down at the respawn. Still 58 seconds left. School is looking wide open. Oh, they could pick this up and just run if they wanted to, but they're taking a very, very long time about deciding what to do, and Apathy now is gonna have to try and slay out. Drone has been picked up here. School's got one, throws out a grenade. He gets the hit markers, looking for another one. Will get taken out. Classic, the oh, last remaining big. player throws it out to delay the time. Envy now with control over the middle of the map. It's going to be very hard for Elevate, but they do have to just get out of their base. They have to play it very slow, work together, and just get out of here. I think we could see maybe Envy sink a one-point throw. That drone's going to reset That's any true. second now. Octane thinking about it. Jcap picks up the first kill. That's going to be the second Huge. one. If Octane can pick up Slack, oh. this is going to be massive. Looney still has the drone, though. He's making his way all the way around the outside. 17 seconds left. If he sinks this one, it's, it's going to give Envy the win. He's he got it. He gets no! it. Envy hit the buzzer beat at 10 seconds left. Surely oh, not enough time. Kidding. There's no way. The heartbreak. Drone has been picked up here. Classic looking for it. Gets shut down. Envy proves to be too strong. As the ice runs through their veins, he just he, he barely missed it, dude. Yep. You could just see it was going to happen. Beautiful play from Envy right at the very end. Sink the one-point play. And Looney uh. with three uplinks. Octane with four uplinks. A 25 to 21 performance from him. Great all-round play from them, but that's going to be heartbreaking for Elevate. Well, Slack definitely turned up in that second half. Oh, he went ham. Like, Slack did everything possible. But now the same thing I was talking about in Looney after game number one, you can now see with two losses coming out mm -hmm. from the boys on Elevate. Right. I mean, it's funny Saint, how it looks. Saints is one of those players who just, you know, as soon as one thing goes right, he's fine, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know about the rest of the team if they have that same kind of mental fortitude. It's something that you just gain over the years, right? right. Like, Krim can lose two games and still be fine. Scum can lose two games. Like, you know, J-Cap can do that. They, but they're all seasoned players, but the other two guys, I, I'm just not sure if they got the same kind of composure. Well, we'll have to wait and see for now. Quick commercial break. When we return, heading to game four.